My name is Ileana Naharo, and I'm a staff writer at Education Week covering race and opportunity. My big idea focuses on DEI in K-12 schools. Programs and policies built around diversity, equity, and inclusion aren't new to public education, but since at least the summer of 2020, we've noticed that anecdotally a growing number of districts are investing time, money, and effort into building out these initiatives, whether it's adding training for teachers around DEI or building out entire offices and departments around the concepts of DEI. So my story is asking the questions, where are we now? What have we learned about best practices when it comes to DEI work in schools? And what is the end game of all of this? What are you trying to achieve when you're building out an equity office in your district or when you're assessing data of racial disparities in terms of students who get disciplined and students who get promoted to advanced placement courses? One of the big takeaways from my story looks at how when you're doing this kind of work, you gotta think about the micro and macro levels at play. You're thinking about the specific needs of your student body within your school or within your district. And you need to think about this overarching question about whether or not the education system as a whole is amenable to your diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts. For instance, is it enough to say that you got rid of systemic barriers for students of color to join AP classes? Or is the bigger goal to make sure that regardless of whether students of color pursue AP classes or stay in regular or honors classes, they're still able to get access to quality education that is also culturally responsive.